And so, this is Herna, Plecker. How's it, how's it feeling just being out here in the armory competing in the thousand? Uh, good. I, it was a fun way to start the season. I ran Dr. Santa here last year, had a pretty good time, and then I wanted to come back out here, kind of get the legs moving, and you know, just start the season. Yeah. What's the feeling like as you kind of, you know, break off, uh, you know, from like training, coming off of winter, going into the indoor season? Yeah, for me, coming fall, I do a lot of mileage, a lot of strength work. So for me, it's been a little bit of a shock, just getting the legs going faster again and trying to get those fast paces feeling relaxed. And I feel like I'm at a good, pretty good spot if I can just keep the momentum going through, you know, May through June. Uh, I'll be in a good spot then. Nice. And coming off, you know, what's like a legendary kind of 2022 season, you yeah. have an amazing season. How do you kind of use that as motivation going into this year as well? You know, it's hard. It's, I know that I can compete at that level, but at the same time, uh, you know, I don't want to just rest on last year and not making the U.S. team was kind of a big, uh, like, low point of my season. And I just want to make one of those teams. Yeah. And what's the most exciting thing for you competing indoors and outdoors and just, you know, through training? What's one of the most exciting things that keeps you going? Um, what, what's fun this year compared to last year is I feel like I'm more of a contender this year. Um, obviously, we were going for it today. And then um, uh, in two weeks, Laura Muir is going to be in the race. So it's going to be hot, but I'm just going to go in and stick my nose in it like I like to do and see what happens. Nice. Mm -hmm. Amazing job today. Looking forward to two weeks from now. Yeah,